And the learning itself, keeping kids safe in the classroom, certainly a priority for parents and teachers alike at schools all across the country. That includes Seminole County, where school safety director uh, Captain Rick Francis is one of the people working hard to make sure that happens. Uh, Captain Francis, good to see you. You've been good in you, before. You so you guys have been at the leading front of a lot of the technology that has gone for uh, to make this even more safe. And you talk about school security being different than what some people think. Yeah, when we most uh, when we get in front of uh, our stakeholders, they they want to know what's uh, important with school safety. I think the average Average person thinks that target hardening, uh, cameras, fencing, access control is really what makes the school safe. And although those things are important, it's really on a small portion of what we do in Simo County. Uh, those things are needed. However, the school climate, bullying, threat assessment, mental health, and that, that school climate is so important. That's what makes a school safe. And I think kids have come to expect it now. Students have. When they arrive at school on Monday, will they see things different than last year? When they arrive, we hope to see they're going to, when they pull up, and that's a very thing that we, uh, we take pride in in Simmel County. When they arrive, they're going to see a marked patrol vehicle in their school each and every day from bell to bell. Um, there's going to be some behind the scenes things that we continue to do in Simmel County that uh, we're not going to talk in open forum, but we, when we uh, look forward to them arriving, and having a safe school year and parents understand that we are doing our best that we can do to make sure that it happens. And is this always an evolving process for you because threats change? We, we talked about the vaping thing. I mean, you've had to adjust to that now where you're always looking at what is the biggest threat to student safety. Absolutely. Vaping is something that's uh, come along. Uh, unfortunately, access to vape devices is huge. Uh, we have uh, looked at some technology that we have uh, piloted in a couple of schools to see if we're able to detect it. But of course, more importantly, is the prevention side, is educating kids and parents the, the dangers with vaping. And this puts you in a difficult situation because everyone wants security, they want safety, but there's a cost for that. And we hear about school after school system needing money. So how do you balance all that? Uh, we use a scoring rubric. Uh, we do, uh, I, there's a statewide assessment that we go through every school every year from top to bottom, from fence to access control. You know, in Simmel County, our average school age is 30 years. So sometimes it takes a little bit of extra money to make a school, you know, have that minimum safety school package that we're looking for. But, you know, it's a state, a federal, and a local requirement. Our, in Simmel County, we've been very, very fortunate. We've had an a awesome school board that has put school safety and a superintendent that every time he talks, school safety is, and that's not something that's a knee jerk reaction. That's something that the sheriff, our city partners put on the top of everything we do. If we have a safe school, it gets it opens that environment where kids can learn. And finally, how many do other school districts look at your district? Do you look at other districts to see this works in Seminole, this works in Orange, this works maybe in Hylia County that we can That's do? That's a great here? question. We've had numerous school districts come and see what we're doing in Seminole County. We just had a head start on a lot of different things. Now, of course, the state's now mandating a lot of things to be done. Um, but what works in Seminole County may not work in like a Baker County or something like that. So they have to tailor their things. We have been fortunate to have a lot of good technology and school safety that's uh, helped us tremendously by putting for example, uh, the ability to lock a school down at a teacher's fingertips. It's a very, very important to make sure the re right resources are responding accordingly. Finally, do you have a message for either students or parents to help them ease into this on Monday? Be patient on Monday. Yeah. The traffic's going to, the, uh, going to be very heavy. We ask that if you're on a school grounds or near school grounds, please don't text while driving. It's uh, our kids' safety is very important. Um, we want to make sure that you understand that school safety and security is our top priority in Simmel County. Uh, if we do happen to have a threat or something like that, we will work our, uh, to ensure it's mitigated. Um, and when we uh, articulate through social media or whatever messaging that we're going to do that this, the threat's been minimized or not credible, please send your kids to school. Captain Francis, always enjoy having you here. Thanks for Thanks. coming in this Thank morning. Thank you very much. Good I appreciate it.